continue at this torrid pace that they have set. Frank Keedy and Will Power followed by Justin Wilson. It's going to be interesting to see the combination of tires, what they go back to when they make this final stop. Dan Weldon has made his stop here, so he comes back out onto the track. That's Vitor Mira going by, the 06 of Hideki Muto, and there is your race leaders. It's always a bottleneck down there, but right now, Frankidi, Power, and Wilson, those guys are really trying to put their laps down, and it seems like Will Power is gaining ever slow slightly on Frankidi. He's gaining about a tenth a lap because he knows he's got to get as close as possible coming up to this round of pit stops. A lot of traffic in front of the race leaders right now. And might be a good time, shall you say, to take a pit stop, because that's what we're hearing. Maybe the 10's gonna call him off because you can't gain any ground when you got three cars in front of you. And exactly, and if they think that they're close to be able to make it in their fuel window, they'll certainly do that. Next time by, there will be 31 laps to go. Remember, we said the window was somewhere between 28 and 32, depending on what kind of mileage you were getting. The 10 car, does he pull off? Yes, so race leader Dario Franchitti surrenders the lead to Will Power as he makes his way down 60 miles an hour. Pit lane here, and they're all the way at the far end. Let's send it to Jamie Little. Well, this is officially the first time this week that I have not heard Dario complaining about the balance of his race car. Says it is good. Now remember, he has led the most laps this season, and he continues to lead. He, of course, gave up the lead for this stop, but on four flags, and it looked like a pretty quick stop, 6.8 seconds, fill it up with fuel, no changes for Dario Franchitti. And he's led the most laps today so far, 22, and now we've had our fourth different leader because Will Power assumes the top spot with now Justin Wilson just four tenths of a second behind him, and they, too, have the same issue. They still have these slower cars in front of them. And that was a great call by Target Chip Ganassi team for Dario Franchitti. We'll find out when these guys make their stops just how good a call that possibly could have been because if these two were slowed down markedly, then it could create a problem. But we're going to get our answer pretty quickly because now they both peel off. Will Power in front of Justin Wilson. Let's send it to Vince Welch. He's got the 22. They're going to put scuffed reds on for Justin Wilson. This team has been second at both Long Beach and St. Petersburg, but they felt like they had a winner today. You saw a little bit of front wing for Wilson. We'll see if he can finish. Jamie. And Will Power in the number one pit box. Four tires put on flags. He can see the race up. And oh, my gosh, it was close on pit road, guys. Justin Wilson just gets by the 12 car. And, and now the question is, and the best part is, there comes Dario Franchitti. So it really did not hurt him that extra lap. And boy, Justin take advantage of the situation. Absolutely, because he got out first in front of Will Power. Now watch for this pass. He knows he has to get it done and set his sights on Justin Wilson. And Power's got the inside line. He very smartly came through there and kept to the right-hand side of the racetrack. So now Justin Wilson back where he started this race, out front, right behind the 12 of... You've got... Uh, the 12 of, of Will Power, and then also Dario Franchitti. Now remember, we should also point out, I'm talking about this group. We have other cars that have to cycle through pit stops, so really, the race leader right now is Tony Kanaan, and oh, we have problems down in turn three again, as the 36 has stuffed it. That's Bertrand Baguette. Now, that is a yo local yellow. Now, Kanaan, Andretti, Ray Hall, they have not made their stop. So technically and officially, they are first, second, and third. There goes Tony Kanaan past the scene. They're keeping it a local yellow. Paul Tracy's in. Vince? I'm sorry, Rick? Yeah, Paul Tracy has brought his car in. Remember, they were trying to go off that different strategy. Obviously, now they've decided to pit with the leaders and kind of go for the rest of the way. Still a local caution. So Kanaan continues, but that, remember, they still have to pit. What was so dramatic was watching that battle with Wilson, Power, and Franchitti, and they are still going to be locked into it. Right now it is Kanaan, Andretti, and Rahal. And here comes Tony Kanaan as he finally makes his stop. Vince, he's coming your way. Tony Kanaan been pretty happy with the race car. You see him there in that unfamiliar blue and white. We're used to seeing him in the all green, but uh, four red scuff tires, no chassis changes for Tony Kanaan in his last stop. 
seconds, a lot slower than a couple of the other cars that we saw. And uh, there is Graham Rahal coming out. And, and there you see Marco Andretti. Rick? Just want to talk about the fact that Graham Rahal has been having a great run. At one point, he was behind Danica Patrick, wasn't able to get by. When she came in, they decided to leave him out. And each lap, they kept saying, one more lap, one more lap, doing that old Michael Schumacher trick of trying to do fast laps on a light fuel load. They kept him out a few more runs. As a result, when he came in, he was actually running in third position. So far, though, he's actually very happy with his car. Okay, and those pit stops are cycling through. As you see, Rahal diving underneath the 26 of Andretti. Look out. Oh, that was so, oh, so close. It is now officially Wilson in front, Power second, Frankiti second, or third, Dixon in fourth. Wednesdays. Okay, let's do it! Yeah, baby. Let's ride. <laughs> hey, kids, laugh all night. <laughs> That's right. Hey, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday comedies. Laugh on all summer. Starting at 8, 7 central on ABC. Ah! Did not see that coming. We've had some exciting action here through the round of green flag pit stops, and Justin Wilson has opened up now a three-second lead over Will Power. He put on those scuffed reds, and it looked like he had a rocket underneath him as he has just opened it up. And now 3.6 seconds to Power, and Dario Franchitti third, Scott Dixon fourth, and Ryan hunter Ray rounding out your top five. Well, for Justin Wilson, he had some help by the 32 of Mario Marias, who actually held up Will Power and Franchitti before he finally moved over and let those two guys go by. So let's give him Justin Wilson a chance to extend his lead. There you can see the margin as they come through. Turn number five, heading for six, which is the right-hander. Oh, no, and Briscoe has crashed. Heading down into turn number three. So two of three Penske machines are... Well, one is definitely out, and Briscoe may be out. It could be. He could get back and if it's just the nose. I can't think of uh, any time like this year that we've had, had so many mishaps with Penske cars. And I think it just goes to show you how tough the competition is. So far, still a local caution. Let's get a quick update on Ryan Briscoe's uh, situation. Jamie, what are you hearing? Well, just before you saw him go off course there, about it was actually about a lap and a half before, Ryan came on the radio and said this car is so difficult to drive. Before his last pit stop, he said the front end was getting heavy, but he seems to think that the car may be okay. Roger Penske on the radio saying, tell them to restart you and get you going. Look for him to come back down pit road to check it out. Here's the replay of the six car. Well, he got jacked up from behind. That was uh, Graham Rahal that got into it. So Roger Penske will see that, and he'll figure out why. And well, sure and Briscoe's also Briscoe wasn't really on the very 
uh, left-hand side of the racetrack, his left, our right going 